a video on AliExpress. Now, before we get into it, I just want to mention that I understand that when you buy on AliExpress, you can get something that may give you an allergic reaction or all that stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware of that. But I read the reviews on these products and I was like, okay, I'll give it a shot, you know. And I ordered the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipsticks. I ordered the shade Unicorn Blood and Androgyny. Okay, now I think they were like two or three bucks a piece. Um, they're beautiful colors, honestly. But they're way off. Well, not like way off, but like you can definitely tell they're off. But first, I'll just start by showing you the boxes. Here is the boxes. And if you can tell, there are two different shades of pink. Okay. And actually here at the bottom, sorry, the font is actually a little bit different on this one here. It's actually like more bold. And then on the side where it says like the ingredients and everything, I'll show you those. This way, sorry. You can tell that they're whoop, they're different. Oh, wrong side again. This is not my day. Not my day at all. It's just not my day. Why is it still upside down? Fuck, China people. Okay, their boxes, the, they were right, they're just printed upside down. See this one's more bold at the top, and this one's more light, and it's actually upside down. And if you look, it is the right way of the box. Now these were both jam-packed in there to where I couldn't get them out, and that's why this one here is the top is ripped because I couldn't get it out of the box. And this one is Unicorn Blood. And actually if you look here on the back there's nothing, not even a barcode. And then on the Androgyny one there's a barcode and it says something. If you look, it doesn't even say Androgyny. It says Androgen C with a C in there. And I'm pretty sure that's not how you spell it. Um. The inside of the boxes are actually two different colors as well. One is pink and one is white. So that's a dark color when you open the box. Now onto the tubes. Again, both colored tubes are two different color pinks. This one is supposed to be unicorn blood. Just get it not to glare. Sorry about that. Now it is a beautiful color, honestly, and it smells kind of like vanilla, a little bit. Um, yeah, I'll, just, I'll put a swatch here on my hand. Um, it's not that I'm allergic to it because I put it on my hand and I don't have any kind of reaction. But when I put it on my lips yesterday, the day I got this yesterday, um, they like really swelled up. Not like swelled, like, but like if you look still, they're still raw at the top here. And like very dried out and cracked and yeah. But that is supposed to be unicorn blood and it's like a deep brown with tints of red. But I mean, it, it is a beautiful color. But it is off. And this one I got today was supposed to be Androgyny. I took it out of the box, and I think the reason I couldn't get it out is because it was packaged like this. Like this right here, it, it took me 20 minutes to open this, honestly. Excuse me. Because if you... 
Here we go again. Okay, hold on. There we go. My hair is in my mouth. See, like, it shouldn't be that hard to open. And, again, the wand is different, too. I'll swatch this one, though. It also smells really good, like a vanilla scent. Um, I didn't try this on my lips, just because of what happened yesterday. But, if you look at the applicator, or the tube part... Excuse my nails, guys. Like, the things that make the, the top spin around, it's not, like, they're not separated enough for the top to go and twist all the way. But, like, it is a beautiful red. In my opinion, this looks more like unicorn blood, but, um, yeah. Here, see, I'll, I'll show you how to. See, no matter how straight you put it on, it still goes down like that. And I'll put them side by side. Like, they almost look the same color on camera, but this looks more like a brown, and this is more like a red in the tubes. But, um, the swatches, this one right here. The darker one is Unicorn Blood, supposedly. That's the first tube I got. And then this one here is Androgyny. Also, with the Androgyny tube on the bottom, it says Androgency, just like the box. I mean, I get... I mean, oh shit. I got that on my clothes because it wasn't dry. Um, I understand, you know, you get what you pay for. But the reviews from other people were saying that they're great and they don't smudge, they dry matte, all this other stuff. And I'm like, okay, well, if these people are saying that they're good products, then, you know, I can get a good one too. Obviously, I knew it wasn't the real one. But, you know, just, just give it a go, right? Well, it was a complete fail. And honestly, I'm kind of disappointed. <laughs> At this point, I am nervous to get anything else I've ordered from AliExpress just because of these. Now, again, they're beautiful colors and they are extremely hard to get off of your lips or skin. So I have some coconut oil because I don't have anything else. I mean, I have Vaseline, but it's like difficult. And, um, yeah, but like, I just, I'm quite disappointed, you know? Like, you think you're gonna get something of decent quality because other people will say it was good quality. And then, you get crap. My hair is annoying. I just got out of the shower, sorry guys. But see, like, if you look, It actually comes off really well. You just, you know, gotta scrub it a few times because there's not that much room on these things. See, it comes off. And then, you know, if you want to clean it up a little bit, get the pink tone from your skin. Yeah. Get a little more coconut oil. And wash it off. And it comes off beautifully <laughs> um and if you guys are wondering i'm actually using these uh what are they called cotton rounds from the dollar tree i just picked them up tonight for this purpose because i was actually gonna attempt to wear androgyny um but yeah like i understand you gotta be careful when you're ordering from like China and other countries because you can have allergic reaction to their makeup products because they're not the real obviously but um I don't know I just wanted to let you guys know some sellers are good with their products and they make them well and they send them correctly 
or at least the correct shade. Um, and some are way off, some are like smelly and yeah. Just be careful when you're buying on AliExpress. I strongly suggest that. And if you buy anything like replica, just know that it is possible for you to have an allergic reaction. Um, even if you're not allergic to anything, just because you don't know exactly what they put in these. So, yeah. Just be careful, guys. That's all I'm asking. I just want to look out for you guys, because, you know, I love you guys. <laughs> Alright, until next time, thank you for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. And have a good day. Bye. <laughs>